Our patients still want to celebrate Halloween and our staff still want to celebrate Halloween. So our employees are dressing up, our units are decorated, lots of different costumes. So it's still a fun place to be on Halloween and for our patients and families to enjoy. I think being in the hospital on holiday, you're missing out on so much, and especially this year with all the restrictions on, on being together and being in groups. So anything that we can do to kind of bring that spark into back to a kid's life and say, hey, we can still do Halloween, we can still do fun things, it's just going to be a little bit different. I think they're doing a lot to make it kind of feel as normal as possible with being in a hospital setting. You know, they brought the bag to his room, the trick-or-treat, and they brought their costumes, the doctors are wearing costumes, he's getting to wear his costume, so as normal as it can be for, you know, being in the hospital and everything. So in previous years, they would dress up in costumes, they would join our staff, we would walk around to some of the units and kind of do a, a, a trick-or-treat type event. This year, because of COVID and to be safe, our staff is going to patient rooms. We have costumes for them that were donated through Spirit of Children. We also have treat bags so patients will not be walking the halls but they still get to be able to participate in a fun way. I'm excited that they're able to make accommodations with the COVID and everything going around and even taking the proper precautions and everything where some places would just be like okay we're not going to do anything because of COVID. I'm, I'm excited and happy that they're still able to do stuff like this for the kids. Overall, when you walk in, that joy kind of comes up because you see that the staff took the time to plan and implement something for the patients and their families. Even though you have your mask on, you can't help but smile.